Hello everyone, Robert just got access to GitHub Copilot the other day. Basically, it's it's an AI tool that lets you type in some code and it will auto-complete the code for you. It's trained on a bunch of open source code, pretty much just everything on GitHub that was public. So let's dive in. So reverse complement. Cinder path. <laughs> a string of DNA. A string a, of DNA. A string. <laughs> Of DNA. String of DNA. Define. Okay. Okay. That's a compliment. That's a, okay, yeah. Uh, a little bit I of a bad implementation of a compliment. It doesn't like, reverse. It doesn't only reverse. does compliment. Let's just say this is my fault. Compliment. Reverse compliment. Oh, but. Okay, I like the dictionary. That's good, but reversed of. Yeah, yeah, like reverse is not a well function. let's see maybe uh maybe if we okay there we go okay <laughs> that's fine. then just put that above the other one and then we're good <laughs> amazing translate dna to protein Ooh. okay how's this interesting so doc string very nice useless doc string <laughs> <laughs> what if we wanted it to add a Oh, that's that was the, the start, start code, code on. on. Yeah. Take the start code on. Yep. <laughs> okay. I guess that's it's, fine. Um, <laughs> okay. But also we have this issue where this function does not exist. Yeah. So I'm going to need to have it define it, please. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, God. Oof. This isn't even enough of them. There are 20 amino acids. This is only less than 10. Yes. And it's a series of Also, the if statement is like, just... I would absolutely do this as a dictionary. OK, so this is incorrect. <laughs> Let's not. try to see if we can guide it to at least give us the dictionary code on table. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Cool. Yeah, not in exactly what we wanted. Codons to amino acids dictionary. Okay. That's a good start. Come on. Give me more. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, okay, yes. That's better. Yeah, just keep going until it gets tired. <laughs> Def translate. Oh, hello. Codon to amino acid does not exist yet. What we would want to do here is codons. Codon. That seems right. So if we had something something translate of that and run it ah do you think it's an edge case because i don't have the oh uh, you don't have three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. so edge cases this is why we test code so here you can basically say if length codon equals three oh, that is correct okay. then okay. we do this so now we can put the a back in and and it's good so it, it did help us once we knew we needed a check it provided us with one edit distance Ooh. given two protein strings s and t calculate the edit distance so def oh whoa <laughs> It's uh, something. What is happening? Looks great. <laughs> oh, wow. Is this... The, um, try running it on something. Let's try... Five. Five! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> wow. It just worked? Seriously? We just told it the... What? That's amazing. Oh, that's really right, cool. Right, and they did the whole dynamic programming approach. That's really impressive. I am pretty happy with that. Wow. Yeah. It helps that edit distance is a really common thing that people calculate, and they do it in bioinformatics courses a lot. It's also one of the best examples of dynamic programming that we see in bioinformatics, so it's good for algorithms courses as well. I think the general answer is the more common the thing you're trying to do is, the more likely you're going to get something that is pretty reasonable. Yeah.
but you definitely have to check the output <laughs> to see <laughs> if it's any good. What if I do... Okay. I just enjoy watching it go. Whoa, it's, it's generating a Rosalind problem for us. Yeah, it is. And solving it. Oh. Ooh, returns. Oh, oh very that's cool. a good solution. I like that one. It's very, uh, it's nice and concise. Can we, can we try to prompt it with more, like given and see what it says? Okay. Fascinating. Where are you that going with this? generating problems. A consensus string and profile matrix. Sure. What is a consensus string and profile matrix? I'm not sure, but it's about to tell us how to do it. <laughs> oh my God. What is this? I mean... Yeah, it basically generated another Rosalind problem as soon as we gave it some space. Wow. So this is yet another use case. If you're teaching a class, you can yes. get it to generate homework for you. You can generate problems. But then if they have access to GitHub Copilot, then, oh my God. This means that when you're doing homework, you don't have to Google it anymore. You just open the homework document, which has all the comments in it saying what you should do. And you just tab until you finished your homework. That's very true. You know what would be a killer app is wow. making github copilot into a, a chrome plugin and then you can use it while interviewing at companies <laughs> 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 maybe you could tweak it so that it like types a bit backspace backspace Ooh. keeps typing yeah it's a touring test right it can code, but can it pretend to be as bad at coding as a person is? Right. And as slow. And, and not like everything in order, but like, you know, you do things here and there, you put mm. it together. Wow. Wow, this is... Um, that was educational. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. It actually gave us a problem <laughs> and solved it. <laughs> We're going to have to trim this video down yeah. quite a bit. Right now it's an hour and a half. And we're hungry. Uh, Speaking of which, <laughs> what should we get for lunch? <laughs> Does it do anything? You can do it. It's spinning. It's spinning. Oh my God, this is hilarious. No? No? Okay, but what if <laughs> um, generate lunch menu? Like it, it has to give us something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? No. It uses nucleotides to figure out what's on the menu. Ah, and they're all like A is for apple, C is for carrot, G is for grape, and T is for tomato. Wow. <laughs> it just, that's, that's amazing. It mixed together our nucleotide stuff with our desire for lunch. Oh my God, we have to keep playing with yeah. this. If you have ideas for other things to try out, Please let us know in the comments. I, I think this blew my mind a little bit. I mean, it makes sense. It's machine learning. I've seen this for other things, but it's just really fun to see what happens when you try to challenge it and guide it in a particular direction. And this lunch thing is just my favorite <laughs> so far. <laughs> it's pretty great. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. Here's a video that I think you'll like. I'll put the video here that is of our Q&A episode where you were interviewing Ooh, yes. me with questions because that, that was a pretty fun. fun one with both of us too. With that, signing off. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.